Howdy mates. Top of the afternoon. Hope the day is suiting all of you well. As we all deserve it. Here's a part two film for Saturday, November 2nd, 2024. I've made it to what is known as the Bistai Rock Garden. And you can clearly tell why it has that name, given the hoodoos that surround such a landscape. I mean, this is, this is phenomenal. You know, having the finer sediments erode before it gets to the sandstone. What you're seeing is a great example of a combination of both physical and differential weathering. What I mean by differential weathering is the rocks that choose to weather is ra rather selective. So what I mean by that is still hear me. There we go. That might help a little. What I mean by differential weathering is if you look at the sandstone towards the top of the hoodoo, that's a lot more resistant to weathering. Whereas just below that, we have that finer bits of sand, silt, and even clay. And that tends to weather much easier. So therefore, you have the differential weathering in which, depending on the material, it will differ. But then in the aspect of physical weathering, that can include, for instance, wind, as you clearly noticed, along with frost and wedging that can happen during the winter months. Surprisingly, even New Mexico can experience colder temperatures, given that we're a little bit in higher elevation. Whereas if we were to go further south in New Mexico, towards the border, the elevation goes down. And that's where it tends to be a bit warmer. But something I wanted to show you guys was another unique feature in which I'll give you just a moment here, but I need to adjust my camera. There we go. Give you just a moment. Have you ever seen wood that looks rather scared? Well, perhaps if you have, you may have called it petrified wood. Haha. -ha. Knee slapper. See what I did there? Yes. What you're looking at here is petrified wood. So basically, at one point, the trees that could have been in this area over the course of thousands or even millions of years ago, I can't really say off the top of my head, what happened was water rich in silica. Silica being the primary mineral that makes up most of our rocks on the planet. What happened was, this silicified water passed through the wood. And then through the process of evaporation, silica was left behind as a result. And that is why petrified wood even though it still has that woody texture, it also feels very rock-like. Because another term for petrified means to be frozen, stiff. And that's exactly what happened. Pretty darn cool. Geology rocks, what can I say? <laughs> All right, you guys. Have a good rest of your day. Take care. 
and of course, then the outer journey is onwards. See ya.